back to my channel my name is katie i hope you are doing well today's video is going to be a m's scrap busters this is episode number 48 and today is making layered pocket belly bands from scraps now then i am just going to put that out there right now that my house is like piccadilly circus at the moment you'll hear the dog you'll hear everybody at the moment so um yeah we'll just have to get on with it and and deal with it really so anyway right so i have picked out some scraps now you're probably looking at these ago but they're not scraps to me they were going to go in the bin because they were um things that i printed off from arty maze and my ink was running out on my computer on my printer even and they came out this sort of like ready kind of colour instead of really vibrant so I was going to throw them and then I decided do you know what I'm going to cut them out and I'm going to use them in other projects so I've dug those out uh, I've got a map left over from my journal I'm just gonna oops, see if I can bring it up a bit there then you can see a little bit there we go um yeah so from making my jubilee journal uh, i've got out some ink i've got out some other bits and pieces this is all left over from my journal that i've just made so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to glue this to this i have made one already and i'll show you what it looks like actually before we even begin um i used scraps of the ledger paper that i used in my tag for my journal and then these are the tickets, as I say, so I'll show you just that there. I've used some stamps and then used the tickets and it's literally just on on that. So as you see, it's just you've got like little pockets on your belly band. So that's what we're going to do. Now, uh, Melina did um, have some measurements and things like that, but because I'm using and I'm sure everybody else will be doing the same using scraps. I mean, that's that was a one and a half inch piece this one is a two inch piece and they're different lengths as well so it's up to you i'm just going to do it like this but as i say she did do specific measurements if you wanted to use those measurements so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my tape and this is this measure measures two inches by We'll call it six, it's just over six and a half. So I'm just going to grab my tape and I'm going to pop it on this side because I prefer the darker side. These are just the file folders that I have got from um, oh, Amazon. Um, they're freely available on Amazon, so if you just put in file folder, they will definitely come up. Uh, I could even link them if you wish. But I'm just going to, and then whatever's left over, I shall glue, add glue. So, yeah, I, to be honest, and I, you know, I would like to be honest with everybody. When I first saw this challenge, I was like, I wasn't going to do it. That's why it's, um, I didn't do it over the weekend. And I watched rewatched the video again today, and I was like, do you know what? I am going to try this this out. I just thought, well, I don't know. I don't know if I like it, and I did. So, <laughs> hence why I'm doing the video now. Right then, I'm just going to get my little thin tipped glue, and then where there isn't any tape, I will just add a little bit of glue oops went onto the mat then that wasn't very not very good so i'm just going up and then sometimes i do go over the tape because then you just get that little bit of wiggability so i just go over the tape put my lid back on and then we'll place my page i think i'm gonna go We'll just go with this one. 
literally just going to place that straight down and then cut around the outside you don't have to do this you could just leave it blank but I wanted to try and do it a little bit differently this is what I like about these um, challenges I always go ahead and see other, like watch other people's videos as well because I like to see their spin on it because everyone has different scraps different everything and I really love that and, um who was it who was saying that the other day I think it was Camellia Craft Designs actually was saying that um that it is nice to see the same kind of project I'm just having a got my tea and um, the same project but to see how different people do it right then so I'm gonna cut just get my little trimmer I don't need my my big one get my little trimmer and I'm going to cut these down so my initial belly band I'll cut that bit off at the bottom is two inches so you want to cut your squares two and a half you can do two and a half two and a half by two and a half think she did because we're going to do a gusset two and a half by two and a half so we're going to do some gussets so there's one move that out of the way she did three pockets i'll have a look see what other papers i've got two and a half by two and a half One and two. Oh no, that is two and a half. Oh, I measured it at two. What a idiot! Right, well, guess what? It's getting cut down to two. <laughs> oh dear! And I will need my big, bigger one for that. Look, it's been a long day. I've been at work. I came back. I had to wait for the gas man to come and do the boiler. Uh, what else? Um, and then I ordered a. Um, I've ordered a rail, a hanging rail from eBay. It came. It had missing parts. Uh, the reason I've ordered it is because when I go, I've got a vintage flea market coming up in July. It's at Malvern, so if you're local to Malvern or if you ever go to if you're on holiday around Malvern then please do pop in and see us we've got I've got junk journals vintage clothes vintage bits and pieces galore um but I'll let you know more about that it's going to be in July that we're going to be there so first week of the school holidays hopefully it's going to be amazing but anyway so I ordered that so I can hang up all my um vintage vintage clothes and stuff that I've got on there and it's missing a pole so I wasn't best pleased now then I might do I'm gonna do a craft card and I'm gonna do some patterns actually I'll do a bit of craft card a bit of index card and a bit of pattern paper so I probably won't need that so let's just cut this out so we want two and a half by, by two and a half put that over there so we've got that there and then two and a half Back to in here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to measure these up because two and a half lengthways may be too long for this. I don't know because we're going to have we we'll have that there, that there, and that there. Oh, actually, no, it's that's not too bad at all. Brilliant. Right then, so 
move your belly band to one side now we're going to take out the scoring board i do have a smaller one i'll get my smaller one out actually probably easier my smaller scoreboard and then we can score you're going to score at a quarter of an inch on each side so you want to score in a quarter there and then a quarter on that side okay so we're going to do that with all three squares so a quarter on that side and a quarter on that side and the last one make sure i've got it the right way a quarter on that side and a quarter on that side and pop that back on okay right then so and what i do like to do this was something that melina did as well as just chop off the corners because then you don't see the paper when you fold it over just newtons everything off as well so there we go now then fold one side oh, i'm gonna i need that on the inside i don't want that on the outside this is proper scrap paper because, as you can see, I've used it for inking. And then you only do it to one side because obviously it's going to be sitting like that. And when you have it folded over, you can sometimes see it. So if you see here, you can see the top bits, whereas if you have it that way, you can't. And that side, and that side. No, now it's time for inking and doing all those wonderful things. So I'm going to go ahead and ink all of these, and then I will be back. Okay, so I've done all of that. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to stick these down. Am I going to decorate first? I might. I won't. I won't decorate first. No, I will decorate first. <laughs> Right then, so I'm going to put this, these, some of these stickers on, and stickers, um, I mean you could actually, if you wanted to, turn them into stickers, you could put them on sticker paper when you print them off, I have actually got some sticker paper so I might do that sometime, and then create some stickers, and then all I'm going to do is just pop that on the front, um, and I want to do this one, but I want to cut that out with my scissors my these thinning hair thinning scissors just to make it look more stamp like there we go get rid of that I'm going to put that on there I'll just ink that up actually there should be enough ink on here so i hope everybody is okay i need to do some serious filming this week because i'm behind on my um like challenges and stuff i've got two tags to make i've got one uh like gardening themed over on miss paints a lot and um, I think the draw she did yesterday on Sunday on her live, it was bees. So actually it's quite good because at work today I saw we had some bee napkins. So it might be something to do with some bee napkins. I've then got um, Scrimping Mummy's challenge, which is doodles, I think. So... I've got that to do. I'm just trying to find the end of my red tape. 
and I'm, just, I'm going to stick these down now with with a little bit of can you hear everyone there's like Callum in his room the dog's outside barking the head off she's probably just lying because she just sits there lies outside and then barks at I don't know birds going over her head or I don't quite think the bats are out yet well I suppose the bats would have come out of hibernation won't they so it could even be bats she sits there and barks at the bats at night time which is really great um so i think that's my husband just going to get her in oh dear right so i'm just going to peel the backing off this red tape and you can't even see what i'm doing because i'm so far away i've got no nails there we go and so i'm just going to grab that and then what i am going to do is just put a little bit of glue just on the tiniest bit on there and then fold these over and then we can glue that down you can if you want to pencil in where you want to stick your pockets oh I've also just gone ahead and put in a little a little notch but having the tape there will just help with I like to stick my finger in there just to make sure that the pockets working and then on the other side here I'm going to get a bit of wet glue and I'm going back and forward underneath there and then what I will do is just grab a paper clip on each side and then as I'm decorating the next one hopefully that will stick so leave that to one side I'm going to put this one in the centre I'm not sure what I'm going to decorate this one with. So let's get our gubbins over here so we can see. So I quite like that. Is that that's going to look too samey samey though, isn't it? Let's see what we've got in here. It's like a number. I might put the number in actually because then you've got the number and then you've got a stamp as well so I'll put that there and then that's going to go and maybe should have put that up a little bit higher that's why you measure everyone that's why you measure but we're just going to work with it right, move that out of the way we will ink this up and glue it I am using vintage photo for a change. Um, I wanted something a little bit darker. Um, I do like using the tea dye, but I just wanted something a little darker. And I have inked up each side of there. I'm just gonna put some glue on here. You can decorate these with whatever you like. You can have butterflies, you can have stamps, anything you wish. And that is the beauty of these. As I say, you know, because we have all different things. That's I love watching these. I do. I love to see what other people have come up with. Because then it can inspire you and you can go, oh, I've got so and so. I might give that a go, you know. And that's what we're here for after all, isn't it, really, to inspire each other. Um, I actually I was running through TikTok the other day and somebody that I used to work with over on, on Jewellery Maker um, has a shop and he started to do like steampunk jewellery and it's fabulous. Um, I'll pop a link, if I remember, to his shop 
or is TikTok. I think it's ostentatious, ostentatious jewelry or something. So, but yeah, pop on over and have a look. It is his stuffs. He's starting to experiment with a lot of different mixed media, and I love that. I really love that. So I'm just going to burnish that down. And then hopefully I can, I won't get that one off yet. It's going to, I'm just going to get my, um, this out because, hmm, as I say, a lid better be there. Uh, um, because I just haven't got any nails at the minute. Oh, and here comes a hot flush. Wonderful. Just what I need. Oh, and a sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Oh dear. Oh, that's really boring. Oh, hot flush. And then just take these backings off. Yeah. So as I say, I've got a few videos to to get making. It's anything with that red tape. I don't know about you, but I mean, I get very staticky, <laughs> and then that's it. Then it's like the static sticks to me. Yeah. So I've got this rail, like I say, and uh, <laughs> it's got all the bits apart from the two side bars. So I've had to email them and say where are these side bars. So hopefully they'll get back to me. If not, I shall be contacting PayPal and saying, I want my money back. So, as you can see, that's why um, Melina said to put the gussets in. So then you could probably fit a little bit more in there. What have I done with the other one? There's the other one. Now then, that's going to sit on there i actually don't mind that it's a little bit shorter down there you can have it equal if you want but you know sometimes these things happen and i don't i don't think of it as a mistake what is it um julie says on camellia craft designs i've just done it different it's not a mistake i just did it different <laughs> love it i absolutely love it oh dear yeah so um and i've been trying to catch up on watching everybody's videos i uh i was as i said the other day on my challenge built a shed and did the garden the weeding and I'm organising the garage. This is why I wanted the the um, rail because I want to have everything hung up and sort everything. And I do have a Depop shop, so it's quite nice actually to have stuff like that. And then I can do like a little inventory of, of, of all my stock. So, um, but yeah, I do source a lot of my stock from charity shops and things and as i say i do have another channel which if i remember i will link it below if you're interested in like charity shopping and styling up clothes and things i mean i'm mid mid 40s and i'd say i was a plus plus size girl so um if you are plus size middle-aged and fancy a little bit of style tips and tricks then you can pop on over there it'd be great to see you i upload my videos over there on a sunday well midnight monday eh, sunday midnight um gmt time so i haven't actually filmed this week yet so i've, I've got that to do uh which i'll probably do i don't know probably on saturday actually because my husband's 
on call so we can't do anything so i might go out and do a little bit of a charity shop so that'd be quite cool so there you go we've got our three our three pockets on and then you can decorate that as much or as little as you like I've put that one on a little bit ski with but never mind never mind it's just like me a little bit ski with right so you can put things like this in which is what i did with the other one i'm going to put that one up there and then you put there's all sorts of things okay look put this vintage ticket in there put this number in there put that in there you can decorate them up as much or as little as you like so i might do a little bit of stamping so i've got a little stamp here with like a postage i've got that one as well it's got like a postage and i've got that one so i think i might do some different postage stamps but first i'm going to just have a little tidy and then i'll be back right we're a little bit more tidy and organized okay um this is for another project I'll move that over there right so i'm just going to take my ink just do a little bit of stamping Way is it that way like that just take these out for a minute and of course you could have done this before you stuck everything on but where's the fun in that And I'm literally just using it a bit like a a little stampy stampy stamp stamp. I like it, I like it, and I think that's all I'm gonna do. And then you can pop your tickets back in or whatever it is that you are gonna be putting in there. Put that on that one all very ready ready but that's just what i had at the time so there we go that is my take on m's scrap busters episode 48 and it is the making layered pocket belly bands from scraps so that's my two i'm going to do a few more i think um of different sizes and stuff like that but I really, I really, like I said, I didn't think I was going to enjoy doing them. But once I started and rewatched the video again, brilliant. So thanks so much, Melina, for the inspiration. I cannot wait to see what everybody else does. And thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch my video. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.